everyone, Dan here from the iPod Touch World, and today I've got my best three applications of January 2014. I've been really enjoying doing this series for you guys, and I'd love to know in the comments below what you're thinking of this series and how I could improve this series. Anyway, coming in at number three, I have Fightback. This was created by Chilingo, a great development company, and it's just a full-on arcade fighting game. It's a lot of fun, and you can pick up some really awesome weapons along the way. Uh, you can pick up some melee weapons, and also a variety of guns as well. It's a really simple game to pick up and play. It's tapping and swiping gestures, and you basically just have to survive the level. Uh, you can beat a time limit and a score to get a certain amount of points, and that will level up your character. And it's just a lot of fun, really. Uh, there's a whole city view as well, so you get to work through the city and basically play through each zone as it becomes available to you. So it's a very classic fighting game. They're guaranteeing over a hundred levels, so that is immense. This is a massive game, and I forgot to mention it's absolutely free as well, so a really great app to pick up. And all the links to these apps will be in the description below, so make sure to click on the links and download the app if you're interested in it. Let me know in the comments below as well what you think of it. This game has some stunning visuals as well, and you can also kit out your character with vests, tattoos, guns, and a lot more. It's a really fun game, guys, and Fight Back is highly recommended this month. Coming in at number two, I have Cut the Rope 2, and this is 99 cents in the App Store. If you've played the first Cut the Rope, then I 100% recommend checking out the second version. They have added a variety of new physics, uh, new characters to play around with, new costumes, and overall they have just tweaked the gameplay to the point that it's really fun to play now. I haven't encountered any issues and it runs smoothly. You roll through the missions and it's extremely addictive. They've done a great job with this one, guys. They're guaranteeing 120 levels to play through and they're gonna add some more as we progress through the game. There's also some new characters to meet, and you have five new characters in this one, and they all have different abilities to help you out, and it's really interesting being able to use their abilities and playing around with different characters. You can also get some in-app purchases and buy some new hats and costumes, uh, which isn't really worth it in my opinion. They're around 99 cents or a dollar 99, I think, for some of them, and it's basically just a costume. There's no feature with it. It's just a display for your character, which if you're completely addicted to this game and you love the developer, then definitely go for it, support the developers. But in terms of just gameplay, the 99 cents will get you everything. You get all the levels and they're going to add more, so extremely fun. They're also guaranteeing new adventures, and I've played through a few of the larger worlds, and there's some new gameplay elements, uh, there's ability to move Omnom, there's also some great sound and graphics that they've added into this game, and they've just done a really great job, guys. Cut the Rope 2 is another highly recommended app for this month. My number one application of the month is Jet Car Stunts 2. This was created by True Axis, an Australian development company. They have done an amazing job with previous titles, and this is an absolutely free application to check out. There will be the links in the description below. Basically, the free version allows you to play through the first 10 levels and gauge if you enjoy the game and whether you want to purchase all of the levels. And there are 120 levels to play through. I think it was $5 something for the full package, so it was definitely worth the money to get all the levels, especially seeing as this is such a fun application. You have seven cars to play around with, and they all have varied handling, so it's really interesting playing around with all of the different cars. We also have four different game modes now in Jet Car Stunts 2. We have a scoring mode where you basically just try and get as many points as you can. Uh, we've got races, time trials, and then also I think just the check point races that I've been showing on the screen at the moment. This game also has control support as well, so that is a great feature. I'd love to play around with an iOS controller. But when it comes down to it, this game is phenomenal. I've played through maybe 50 levels now, and they are a lot of fun. I haven't been disappointed with any level so far. Also, the difficulty increases as you progress, and there are some crazy levels out there. Uh, there's loop-de-loops, there's grinds as well, as you saw there. There's also just crazy ramps and flips and islands in the middle of nowhere that you have to jump across and land on. It's amazing, this game, guys. And if you haven't played the first one, definitely recommend checking out that one first. And and then checking out the second one and seeing how much they have improved and how well they've done with this application. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Please make sure to subscribe, like and comment and also please make sure to continue supporting my channel. I have some more giveaways and content coming out very soon. Anyway, that's the end of the video though, so thank you so much for watching and make sure to have a great day.